Understanding the Florida Building Code and Florida Project Approvals. Welcome to Building Knowledge 101. In this video, we explain how building projects in Florida must comply with the International Building Code and the Florida Building Code, and how Florida Building Code utilizes wind speed maps as part of the product approval process. Okay, I mentioned Florida Building Code earlier, so let's take a little bit deeper look at that. This is the Florida Building Code. Uh, if you're working on a project in Florida, you need to make sure you follow not only IBC, International Building Code, but also the Florida Building Code. The Florida Building Code requires that all material used in the state of Florida has been pre-approved by the state in accordance with F, uh, Florida Building Code system, and it has the Florida Building Code number assigned to it. So FBC refers to additional impact testing standards, which is TAS 201, 202, and 203, and we'll talk about those in just a minute. In Florida, bear in mind that not all locations have to be impact. There are some areas in Florida where you can use non-impact rated systems, but they still have to have a Florida building code approval number on them. So there has to be an FPA number associated with every product being sold in Florida. Based on your wind load charts, some of those are also going to have to be impact rated, but not all of them are going to be impact rated, but they all have to have an FPA associated with them. The so FPA also goes on to reference the additional testing of TAS 201, 202, and 203. And I have them listed here. So 201 talks about test procedure for a large missile impact and a small missile impact. And 202 has a uniform static air pressure. So once the elevation or the system mock-up has been impacted by the missile test, then you spray water on the exterior and draw negative pressure on the interior and hold it. So we're doing a uniform static air test. And then 203 describes a cyclical testing where you're doing cycles of positive, negative, positive, negative, and you're measuring deflection. Throughout all of these, the system still has to pass after it's been impact tested. Here's a website set up by the state of Florida to help you locate products that have Florida approvals on them. Uh, this is set up by Florida. Texas has a very similar one for locating TDIs. But as an architect, if you're looking for systems, you can come in here. You can search by the manufacturer. You can search by the type of system you're looking for. Multiple ways to get into it. But you'll need to go through and make sure that all products that you're using in the state of Florida have a Florida product approval number associated with them. And you can locate that here. That is all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to watch more of our 101 video series, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Conair Company, Inc.